All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on this lovely Thursday. Good to see you, Barry. Good to see you all. John, Josh, everyone's here. All right, good, good, good. Good to see you, Chuck. All right, well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the morning meeting here at CyberTrain University, the Cyber Group Room. And let me tell you, so far, a good start off with that CPAH, huh? Up 43%. You know what? I was getting a little nervous this morning. Well, you know, I usually log in, which I see some of you are, are here, and obviously everybody's always you know, crawling in little by little, but um, I usually open the open up the room around seven forty five, and uh, I'll tell you the last two days. With, I mean, yesterday was not that good. Also, got a couple of good movers. We'll talk a little about them. I mean, Bed Bath Beyond was pretty cool. Uh, Ativa had some good earnings. That one did pretty well. And then uh, you know, you had a couple of the ETFs market uh, with the market rallied a little bit here and there, so that was pretty volatile. But you know, right away you always know in the morning where you're going with this. So. You know, but regarding about this morning, regarding about the CPAH, some of you guys did pretty well on it. Uh, it looks like Barry got it. Um, you know, Jerry got a little bit of CPAH. Uh, a few of you, a few people got it. Let's give those guys a round of applause. Listen, you got to remember, you can't get them all. And the thing is, as long as you're here, it's always it's always a new day to jump into something that will uh, you can find that you can make money with it. Uh, Barry says, I love uh, pre-market trading. To me, it's much easier than the than the after open. Well, Barry, listen, that's big. the big thing everybody has to understand. Uh, you and I and everybody, I mean, even Ken agrees with you. And I think a lot of us will agree with you. It's just that when 99% of the, the people who trade can't trade pre-market, and they don't even know they can trade pre-market. It's amazing, but... When you see, like today, we got um, we have open house at twelve o'clock, uh, eleven forty-five with the tra uh, with the investors expo. So I expect everyone to be there. We got I'm doing a pre presentation with three other partners. So um, you know, it, you, you just, when when I ask that question, it's amazing how many people just don't know that. And you know what? That's why there's so much more growth when it comes to trading. Now, a couple of things I do want to cover and talk about really quick before we get into the watch list. Uh, first of all, there's two big things that came out now. Uh, you know, watching the financial stations and hearing analysts talk about what happened yesterday uh, regarding about the election in New Hampshire. Uh, they were talking a little bit about Bernie Sanders going, being a, a socialist and wants to go Medicare for all. And um, apparently he didn't win as much as they thought he was like he, he should have. And that kind of rallied the market for the, for the, um, uh, what you call for the me me uh, medical stocks the you know, healthcare stocks. Now, listen, not, not getting political if you're for Bernie or not Bernie. It's, uh, listen, when we trade, we're the same, the same thing. And we all could agree, if Bernie Sanders is the president and does Medicare for all, what do you think is going to happen to all the healthcare companies? They're going to go out of business. He wants to replace them all. He wants to get rid of it. So you know what? If that happens, it'll be the greatest short <laughs> in the market's history. I mean, it's just like there's no other explanation of it. So, you know, they're, these, these healthcare companies are very, very on edge because, you know, once again, if, if, uh, if that does happen, you go to a government agency, they're all out of business. So, you know, and what is what it is. So it's going to be a great, great short for us if that was to happen. But after seeing what happened to the primaries, they didn't think he won too much and they kind of rallied a little bit. So that was, that's number one. Number two, the next biggest thing. You know, I wake up this morning, I'm going through my news, and we all know China is not the most honest people in the industry. It's a communist country, okay? They're not going to tell you what's going on. And the big thing is, is that uh, the death toll just jumped substantially. So this coronavirus is a lot more serious than people think. And I was reading a report just the other day from, from uh, one of the top, uh, top doctors in the, in the world. And he said that if they, if, you, if they do not take care of this thing, this could affect 60% of the world. Did you hear what I said? 60% of the world could be affected by this virus if it does not get taken care of. So if everybody feels comfortable that China knows what they're doing, then we have no problem. Honestly, I don't. Communist country, and I can tell you what they do. I've been there several times, okay? I don't know if you ever been there, but, um, but the thing is this. If it, was, if it happened in the United States you know, or anywhere else, we can feel comfortable with it. But when I'm not trying to bash China, the China uh, government, but we all know, and you hear it over and over, I don't really trust them. So how do we protect ourselves or whatever? We got to look at these stocks. Some of these stocks are obviously starting to rally again this morning. 
They said they had it a little in control. It wasn't, but they said it had another 14,000 cases. Over 1,000 people have, uh, are died because of it. And, you know, these, these pharmaceutical companies are racing to find a cure. But they said even if they would have found it, it would take two months after that. And that's if they even find it. So, anyway, it, we're going to go through those watch lists, and we're going to see those pharmaceutical stocks. Now, listen, don't take my word for it. Listen, don't, don't call me a bias to wherever it is. All you have to do is you got to look at the stock market. I told you guys when you came here, and I've been doing this for 25 wonderful years. I told you, I've been through the financial crisis, okay? And we know that could be a political thing. I was involved with the, the terrorist attacks here in New York City. I was involved with the, with, the, with the internet bubble in 2000. And you know what? I'm still here. People are like, wow, you survived that? And they're like, like, uh, like um, when, I cr when I rang the closing bell uh, last week with my family, I met all the guys in, in um, you know, uh, when I was in the elevator, all the people from Fast Money that, that broadcast is on CNBC. And they don't even, they didn't even believe that people still day trade or whatever it is. They, I mean, as much as some of the people on TV, they don't even know what really is going on with all these different type of markets out there. And the thing is, how do we know it? We know it first more than anybody because you know why? We see the Fox get, the, 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 the stocks getting affected by it. And that's how you judge things. But let me tell you, Wall Street's not that stupid, okay? You wanted to, I tell everybody this, you know, okay? And this is why people make money and lose money in trading. If you think you're smarter than Wall Street, you better just quit and go back to your day job, all right? We don't need to be leaders. We need to be followers, all right? These people are the smartest people in the world, okay? Other than what happened in the financial crisis in 2000, I tell everybody, you got to watch that movie, you know, The Biggest Short. But if you want to go out there and think you want to outsmart them, good luck. Let me know how that works out for you. But we're going to talk about some of these stocks that are moving. So we got the CPAH on there. That one's doing pretty well. IPLI. Okay, here's another one that uh, another pharmaceutical stock that obviously could be one of those, you know, uh, coronavirus uh, companies. How do I know? I just look at the name and assume Cleveland Biotech and how we know the stock went from a buck to four dollars. Gapped up a little bit. So 15 percent. It's not as much as it was, but it was as high as 270. The ODX. Another um, another stock, pharmaceutical stock. Look at that. A dollar went to four dollars, building a Fausto flag on a swing trade. Everything we're looking for. Put that on your watch list. EIT. Another one. Uh, this is obviously not has nothing to do with. with you can just look at the name and know right away. It has nothing to do with the coronavirus or pharmaceutical stock. But this is a stock that's moving up a little nicely. Actually, I, I'm sorry, wrong stock, wrong stock. XB, sometimes I write so fast, I, I kind of make my own mistakes. Uh, this stock is gapping down. Stock uh, getting crushed, 22 down to 16, now 25%. No orders out there in level three. Not really a good sign. It keeps filling in the gap. Not really a good sign. Stock looks like it probably could go all the way down to, uh, if it breaks 16, it could go all the way down to 10. So I'm going to keep an eye on that stock on the short. APT, another one. Alpha Protect, this stock went from 3 to 750 Once I see a stock that makes a move like this, I'm not, I'm just speculating, but I automatically, I can assume it has to do with the coronavirus because every single one that we see right now, regardless of the name, we just look at, look at the, the long-term chart and you can see right away it has something to do with, you know, had, maybe it had something to do with the coronavirus. And remember, it doesn't need to be a pharmaceutical stock. Remember, there are stocks out there. Remember, they made the masks, the, uh, the surgical masks. All those stocks. Are, you know what? You want to hear something funny? Go on Amazon and go look up for the uh, go look up for surgical masks. Everybody sold out. I actually just heard on a report that China stopped all shipments of 3M surgical masks for all the hospitals and everything because they need them themselves. You know. So, um, by the way, I don't know if that's a wake up call, but you, you want to build something somewhere? Look at that. They just took control of all the surgical masks. By the way, that's a, not, that's a big, big problem. Big, big problem. Well, listen, everybody's looking for profits, you know, and, uh, but when, I, when you have a catastrophe, I hope you got something figured out. But, uh, but I, listen, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. If I was America and you were building a surgical mask, I was shipping around the world and we had a catastrophe, you know, and it's, this is my family. Think I'm going to still go out and give it to everybody else? They're just doing what's best for themselves. You know, you got to look at it that way. 
But, you know, like, Jerry, if you want to call U.S. stupid, you know what? It's the companies you got to blame. Anyway, it's the biz- it, and, it, and it's also a business. Another big stock that also I want you to keep it on, NNVC. We all know this one very well. This is the one that went from 2 to 18, okay? Another one of, the, another one of those coronaviruses, up 12%. AIM, another one we were looking at yesterday. Keep an eye on this one too. Another one that's moving too also. So there are a lot of, lot of stocks that are moving today, guys. So once again, don't point the finger and have an argument. Remember, guys, you know, it's one thing in the trading room. We try to keep it very, very diplomatic, but it's not about, it's all about us making money. So if you see something, say something. If you hear something, say something. Because you know what? I don't think anybody, regardless of what you think, but... When we saw, when we were trading the NNC uh, the NN uh, VC, <laughs> nobody was complaining when it went from two to four eighteen and we killed it. You know what I mean? So let's go out there and make some money. All right, guys, listen. Um, today, eleven forty five. All right. Don't forget, I will be on the um, I will be on a uh, be on a Investors Expo. So you got the link. If you guys are registered, there's a couple of great speakers. So come out and support Cybertree University. And remember, you shouldn't be trading at that time anyway. So remember, you got you to gotta, uh, learn before you can earn. So make sure you, you just make your money. Some of you probably done already. So I don't know, maybe, maybe go take an early breakfast and go, go take a spouse out, do something. You know what I mean? Come back. But, um, but like I said, if there's anything else going on, we'll see you back at uh, 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. All right? So make your money fast. Enjoy it. And trade the morning and then trade the afternoon. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.